Hello YouTube, it's Mike from the Hardcover Comic. It's finally here. I finally got my copy of the uh, Final Crisis Omnibus. Super excited. Grant Morrison, J.G. Jones, Doug Monkey, and a bunch of other people worked on this. Um, this this monster, monster of a book. Um, I must say, this is probably one of my favorite dust jackets that um, DC has ever done. Real clean. Has some nice little touches to it. Um, I'm a big fan of Dark Side and anything Omega. Um, so what it collects, I'm not going to read all that, but basically all the tie-ins, all the prelude stuff. Um, and this is going to be going right beside my Volume One of Batman by Grant Morrison, um, just because it is a spiritual uh, 1.5 omnibus. So there's your pricing. Printed and bound in Canada. Get more expensive here. Um, the other thing that I like about this is the uh, inside sleeves. You got given and oh Jesus the choice is simple because here at the end there's no choice at all. I mean that's just ah uh, love it love it small little touches. Let's take the dust jacket off. So pretty lame um didn't go with the art nothing just uh, black with the emboss same thing on the spine but let's dive into this thing. So, um, just right away, I don't think this thing's going to be easy to read, but it'll uh, totally be worth it. Here's your list of creators. A little forward by Jay Babcock. And gets right into it. But, um, yeah, Final Crisis is a, uh, it's a crisis I've read multiple times, more so than any other crisis I've read. Um, to date, uh, because in my opinion, it's, it's a relatively complex story. It ties uh, ties together a lot of Morrison's other stories and um, a lot of the other stuff he's worked on um, into what is, I think, one of my favorite crisis events, um, especially if you do follow along with Morrison's entire um, DC Universe run, if you will. Very exciting stuff. It'll be awesome to read with all the times because I've really only ever read. I mean, obviously the Batman issues in here, and uh, and the tie-ins for the most part. Um, so we have the R.I.P. stuff. A good chunk of Batman here. And then it gets into Final Crisis. Um, yeah, a lot of really cool stuff happens in this event. If you haven't read it. Um, this is honestly the perfect way for you to do so in its full form. Um, looks like some tie-in action here. Excited to see that. But um, drawn by J.G. Jones and Doug Monke did the two um, Superman issues that sort of tied into it. Very, very exciting stuff. Um, something you'll probably read a few times, honestly, because it is... It is a bit complex. Morrison takes a lot of, not shortcuts, but jumps in time and, and jumps in events that you sort of find out about through word of mouth um, with other characters talking to one another. And he just deals with, with complex uh, DC themes. You know, he's not, he's not a writer that um, you can always easily just jump into. He's always got the extra bits and pieces for the hardcore fans. But, um, yeah, this looks great. I'm very, very excited. So, take a look at the uh, binding while it sits. Um, it's pretty tight. Maybe I need to loosen up my copy a bit more. I did work the spine a couple times, but uh, maybe as I read it, it'll get a bit better. Either way, very, very, very exciting stuff. Um, not much for bonus content, I don't think. Just ends with story. Which, I mean, come on, huge book. This is why it'll fit perfectly between Batman by Grant Morrison Volume 1 and 2. Sorry, that's a spoiler. Um, you guys should uh, should have read this by now. It's been 10 years, right? Oh, they do have something on the back. Awesome. But anyway, guys, wanted to keep this short and sweet because I uh, do want to get into reading this thing. Um, so, yeah. If you have any questions, comments below, let me know. Um, if your copy's a little looser than mine, let me know what you did. If you just sort of worked it like that. Um, either way... Thanks guys so much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, you stay classy, Internet.